What's up everyone? Today I'm showing you how I make this dual extracted lion's mane tincture. Lion's mane mushrooms contain powerful compounds that can boost mental performance and improve focus and clarity throughout the day. To get the maximum benefit out of the mushrooms, I'm going to be running an alcohol extraction and a hot water decoction and then combining the two solutions. The result will then contain both the water-soluble beta-glucans and the alcohol-soluble triterpenes within the lion's mane mushroom. I add this tincture to my coffee or tea pretty much every morning, and I've noticed a decrease in brain fog and an increase in energy as a result. I'm starting from dried lion's mane mushrooms that I grew recently. The first step is to break the lion's mane down as finely as possible. I'm using a mortar and pestle here, but you can also use a spice grinder, a coffee grinder, or even a blender. Next, I'll add this ground lion's mane into a mason jar, which is where we're going to be doing our alcohol extraction. To this, I'll add enough high-proof alcohol to cover the lion's mane in the jar by about an inch. A general rule of thumb is about a 1 to 5 ratio of grams of dried mushroom to milliliters of alcohol, but here I had to use slightly more alcohol to cover the mushrooms enough. 190 proof grain alcohol like the one I'm using is ideal, but anything that's over 40% alcohol by volume will work. I'll cap the jar and give it a good shake, and then leave it to extract for 2 to 6 weeks, shaking daily. <laughs> Once the alcohol extraction is complete, I'll strain all the liquid out. Place a damp cheesecloth loosely over a jug or bowl like this and secure it with a rubber band. Then pour the contents of the jar through the cheesecloth and squeeze out as much of the liquid as possible. this liquid back into your jar and cap it for later. Hang on to the leftover mushroom material because we're going to need it for the next step. Before we start the hot water decoction, we need to do a little bit of math. To make the final product shelf stable, it should be at least 20% alcohol by volume. So we need to figure out what volume of water extraction we need to add to it for this to be the case. This here is the dilution equation that we're going to use. I used 95% alcohol, so I'll plug that in here as a decimal. And then the volume of my alcohol extraction is around 260 milliliters, which goes here. I like to shoot for 30% alcohol in the final product, so I'll say 0.3 here. And then we just have to subtract the same alcohol volume at the end here. And the result of this calculation is 563 and a third milliliters, so I know I need that much hot water decoction. Armed with this information, I'll add the leftover mushroom material from the alcohol extraction into a pot and add about 560 milliliters of water. Give it a good stir and then turn the burner onto medium to get it up to temp. At this point, make sure to make a mental note of the approximate level of water in the pot. Since we'll be decocting this for multiple hours, there will be evaporation. Now there are many ways to deal with this, for example by starting with more water than you need. But the way I like to do it is to add water throughout the decoction to maintain a somewhat consistent volume. As soon as I see the first indication of bubbles in the pot, I'll turn the burner down to low and stir again. You want to maintain the temperature between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is slightly below a simmer. It's best to use a thermometer to fine tune the temperature here. Make sure you stir before taking a temperature reading to distribute the hot water evenly. Around 170 is pretty much perfect, so I'll aim to keep the water at this temperature for 2 to 6 hours, stirring often. Here you can see my water level got pretty low, so I'll just top it off with hot water to the level it started out at. I sometimes will go a bit over the original level to avoid having to do it as often. Don't stress about getting level perfect, since we can always add more water after the decoction if we don't have enough. Once the extraction is complete, take the pot off the heat and let it cool down completely. Next, I'm just going to strain out the water extraction the same way I did the alcohol extraction. up with 
500 milliliters of water extraction. And since we calculated before that I need 560, I'll just top it off with water to that level. All that remains now is to combine the two and watch the magic happen. The two solutions mixing create this cloudy effect, which is certain compounds precipitating out of the solution. Because of this, it's important to shake the mixture thoroughly before transferring or taking it to ensure the compounds are evenly distributed. I'll now just bottle this up in dropper bottles and it's good to go. I recommend taking around 1-3 to three milliliters of this daily. Let me know if you try this out yourself and what benefits you find from it. I'll be posting more content like this soon, so subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.